Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Unlock Your Learning. In this video, we are going to solve ICSE Mathematics Class 8 Chapter 20 Construction of Quadrilaterals Exercise 20A Question Number 3. This is the first part of the question. It says what? Let's see. It says construct a quadrilateral ABCD in which AB is equal to 8 cm, BC is 6 cm, CD is 4 cm, AD is 5 centimeters and angle B is equal to 60 degrees. So, uh, so you can see over here we've got to construct this quadrilateral ABCD in which we have to construct uh, a total of what many things? We've got, we've got four sides, four sides and we've got one angle, right? Let me change the thickness, four sides and one angle, right? So till now we have been dealing with diagonals only. This time we have got angles in place of diagonals. Okay, so uh, it's very easy again. Don't worry. See, first of all we will draw your AB of eight centimeters here. Okay, let me quickly draw that thing over here. See, AB of eight centimeters just like that let me extend this thing uh, yeah that's eight centimeters now what am I gonna do let me remove this right we have got two separate points one is this point a another is this point B now from point B we will keep your compass and to construct 60 degrees angle right we all know how to construct an angle of 60 degree um, see yourself here. I put this thing at point B. You can. You need to keep be very careful. Okay. Let me just adjust it here. Right. So let me check if it's actually coming there or not. Mm. So this much should be fine. Okay. Now, let me just bring it a little bit more up over here. That's perfect. Now from point B you can see we have this point B here and at this thing you will draw an arc with a suitable radius. Try to take a small radius only, don't go with a very big radius. Here you can see I have just opened my compass up to 3 centimeters. Okay, So what I am going to do, I will keep this thing at the base here, right? Uh, like that. We will draw an arc from this, from the AB only. Right, what am I supposed to do? We will be drawing an arc from A, B just like that. You can see. So this is drawn. You don't need that big one, but this much is fine. We are going to now do next step. That is, take the same radius, right? We are going to just take the same radius now of the compass. This arc, you can see that I have drawn on A, B. On this, I will keep my point of the compass, pointer of this compass this point intersection you can see right this point where the compass point is going right this bit we will keep it here and I will cut an arc here right this arc has been cut what I'm gonna do now I'll extend this thing okay so see over here I'll extend this thing you can use the ruler Okay, I'm not using a ruler because it's going to take a lot of time for me, but you will use the ruler. You do not have to draw it freehand. So like that, uh, just try to just keep it again at approximate length, right? Don't make it too short. Don't make it too long. This much should be fine, I suppose. Now, what am I going to do now is that I'm going to be constructing the next part. That's your BC. BC is of six centimeters here. See yourself. BC 6 centimeters. I'll keep the compass at point B and cut an arc of 6 centimeters here. Let me show you. So, here it is my compass. We'll keep this at point B again, right? Like that. And we will cut an arc of 6.5 centimeters, right? 6.5 centimeters. And this thing we will cut an arc on this line that we have made this point that is formed after cutting it is your point c now point c is formed now keep your compass okay 
at point C this one you can see with this point C we have just now got on this I'll keep the pointer just like that and uh, just like that it's done and we will again draw the next part and what's the next part of this that's your drawing the point D so we are making the point D and you can see that CD or DC whatever you want to call it it's of 4 centimeters so I'm going to be just extending my compass to the length of 4 centimeters this is a little too big 4.1 and 4.0 now we will cut an arc I'll take a little longer one because this is a little small that should be fine let's move on next one is now again keep the compass now at point A and that's the last step keeping this compass at point A you can see yourself in this figure what is left A and D only is left that is 5 cm CD we have made this arc right AD we, do, we don't have any arc that AD is of 5 cm so first step I have told whatever is the length of the side just open that much on the compass 5 cm and cut an arc right that's it your uh, arc is connected right so I can erase the rest of this longer part is not needed right just like that now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be joining both of these points from point A up to my point uh, C just give me a second this one got stuck here so point A here and then this point D not C D right so we'll take this thing till the intersection make sure it's coming accurately so like that we've done it and what I'm gonna do now is that I'm gonna just finish this thing here and from point C now we will draw one arc uh, one line that will go to this same intersection and this point you can see that is now formed this you will name as your point D uh, sorry point D right so point D and we will do the labelings to this angle B that we have just got this one this is of your 60 degrees right and uh, let me change the thickness you can see all these sides this AB it is of 8 centimeters AD that is of your 5 centimeters DC is of 4 centimeters and BC it's your 6 centimeters all these labelings are, are completed and if you still want to check what if the angle is 60 degrees or not right you can check it using your protractor and friends that's it if you are new to my youtube channel do not forget to subscribe and leave a like on this one till then take good care of yourselves and bye bye